Hello, this is Sue Lafferty, and I'm going to talk about our students online. This week's lesson stood out to me in that it gives me insight into what to expect from our online students and how we can anticipate their needs. This will make the online experience effective and enjoyable for both our students and ourselves. So there are some things we need to think about. Most of our prospective students probably didn't spend their time being tech wizards or tech geeks prior to enrolling in um, our online classes. So they're probably not technologically literate. So it's wise not to assume that and to remember that in fact some of our students are probably taking the class for the first time, an online class for the first time. And so we need to remember that and help our students along. So now, how do we help them? We need to anticipate some problems. Um, they're probably as anxious as we are about the technological stuff again, so then we need to anticipate their potential obstacles that they might have. And so it helps to understand uh, that s our students are going to be dealing with a different mode of learning from the traditional classroom environment to this new online platform that they're going to be learning. And then, of course, they will have other special concerns that's um, unique to online uh, learning. Like, for example, they might have to deal with equipment concerns, and also there are various course management systems. Uh, like, for example, here at Miracosa, we have um, Blackboard and we have Moodle. And so, besides those two, um, instructors might choose to use a blog like Word WordPress that we're or they might use in conjunction with um, their CMS. So our job is to lessen the confusion of our students. So then, it's very wise to remember that having these insights, we're not here to be customer service assistant or to help every with every questions that students might have that they posted or emailed to us. And our main objective is to teach, so, and then we can't really be tech expert either. And so then we need to anticipate these things so that we can focus on the teaching. So what are some things um, we can do so that we do not have to be this tech support? One of the things that we can do is we create an orientation page for our students. And Miracosta as an institution has done that for us. Uh, there's a page here that tests um, the students to see if they can be potential students uh, here at Miracosta. There's also a page here that guides them to, to test out and see if they have the correct um, equipment uh, or technology for um, the online learning. And then of course, we also have, if we're using Blackboard, for example, tutorials for uh, Blackboard. So Miracosta has that, so this is going to help ensure a successful and effective course. Um, now, for ourselves, we might need to help our students navigate the, our course at the course level. And s so what is it that we can do? Well, this list that I compiled here is not complete, but it's just for a demonstration. So have a look and see what are some things um, we might anticipate. So for example, I created a list where students might ask how to log in, and here's a link for them. How do I contact the instructor? And of course, provide them with the email and gave them a 1-800 number for them to call for technical help if they want to reach a person that's speaking. And then, of course, there's also an, a connection to help desk as well uh, to their web page. Um, and, of course, some other miscellaneous questions there. But anyways, um, we can have this list, but uh, it's going to be a longer list as we gain experience with our teaching sure and that's it for my presentation for this week talking about our online students thank you